Hey, Margie, I'm sorry you didn't get that job. You deserved it. It's not fair. It isn't fair. It doesn't make any sense. They do this kind of thing all the time. They do. I don't understand how somebody from the outside could know the job as well as you. Affirmative action isn't fair to anybody. It sure isn't. I don't understand the hiring process around here. Hi, Gail. So, Hi, Bill. Uh, say, Gail, could you uh, make four copies of that and get back to my office before 12? Sure. Okay. Hey, Bill, isn't there anything you can do about that promotion for Margie? She deserves it. What, you mean that job that that Oriental gal got? The job I applied for, Bill. <laughs> Listen, Margie, it's city policy. I Just... thought you had to hire a woman. <laughs> Margie? I hired a woman, an Asian woman, okay, an Asian woman with great legs. Since when are great legs a requirement for a job around here? Well, you think you got a problem, she's got a real accent. How do you think the customer's going to feel? Kidding. Oh, great. Oh, Nancy, uh, come on. Hello, Bill. Uh, yeah, I'd like you to meet the other gals in the team. This is uh, Margie. Hello. Hello, Nancy. Gail. Uh, hello. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nancy, uh, I tell you what, uh, these gals will show you around, show you the ropes. Uh, I got to leave now. I see you later, Bill. Yeah. Well, I need to get to work here. Oh, okay. Um, the desk is right around the corner. It's the first desk on the right. Oh, okay. Um, well, you look kind of busy. Maybe I can help you with something. I think we can handle it. Thank you. Uh, are you sure I can help you with maybe whatever you're doing? Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, I will find my desk. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Do you think she was born here? Of course not. Not with that accent. I don't think her legs are so great either. Steve, what's going on? Oh, man, that girls have been messing in the machine again. It's all jammed up. Hey, hey talk about girls. Have you checked out that new hire? She's been here for about six months. You mean Nancy? Yeah. Oh, have yeah. you put the move on her yet? Uh, why don't you uh, send her over and help me with the copy machine? Hey. Right on. Hey, you got a deal. <laughs> all right. We'll get it copied, right? Dig it. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. We'll take care of that for you then as soon as we can. Ugh, one more complaint. Hi, Margie. Say, so, could you take care of these? I've got a mess of these to get out by 4.30 today, okay? Okay, fine. Yeah, I've got some more coming, okay? Okay, Bill, uh, I just want to, to tell you, I've, I've been noticing we've been getting a lot of the, uh, the customer uh, complaints, and we've been losing them. Uh, the system seems to be inefficient. Well, it seems to be functioning fine from what I can see. But it needs to be updated a bit. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you gals put your heads together and see what you can come up with. Come up with a plan. Anyway, I've got some uh, more coming and I'll be back in a few minutes. You know, Margie, we really have had a lot of customer complaints lately. We've had a lot of complaints and we've lost a lot of them. Well, how about if we uh, replace the, the messenger system with the CRT? I didn't understand what you said. Uh, well, I said... How about if we, if we take the messenger system and replace that by using the CRT? This way we can have the hard copy and this way uh, we can reduce the paper flow and I can write the program. You know how to write programs for computers? <laughs> yes, I used to be a computer programmer. Huh. I don't know. Every time you introduce a computer, you just compound your problem. You don't like computers much, do you, Margie? I don't like them, and I don't think other people do either. You know, you're probably right. I think most people aren't used to them. We probably should just stick with the current messenger system and figure out some way not to lose those letters. Then what are we going to do about the phone calls? Well, like I said, if we use the CRT, uh, then all the phone calls and all the, the paper or the letters, they uh, immediately are logged. You know, maybe it's not a bad idea to use a computer. That way, anybody who has a CRT can access it. Well, Bill, I think you've got something there. I think so. Hi, Margie. Oh, hi, Bill. Bill. Bill, yeah? Gail's come up with a great idea. Oh, yeah? I think she's come up with a solution to the complaint problem. Great. 
Yeah, what we do is we replace the messenger system with a new CRT system. That way we always have hard copy, we reduce the paper flow, and anybody who has a CRT can access it, and Nancy can program it. Well, I think that's a great idea, Gail. And I tell you what, why don't you and Margie uh, get together and put out the plan in writing and get to me in uh, the morning, okay? Okay. You know who else knows how to program? Sharon over there. We can get her in. I think so. You might even end up liking computers. Oh, I don't know about that. Here, let's have a go at it. First, step one. Contact Sharon. 